Here's my face in natural lighting. It just looks a mess. My skin is a mess, but my hair, I'm really feeling it. Walking down the street, smiling at everyone she meets. Huge Doors fan here. Um, okay, friends, hello. How are you? It's another Get Ready With Me. Can you handle? Can you dig? I've got some exciting stuff to talk about this week. I've got an exciting project I'm doing. And I'm generally just feeling great. Last week I was in a dark place. This week, I don't know. I'm feeling great. I think it was a little bit hormonal last week. Like I said, I was feeling a little, um, like I had lost hope. <laughs> this week I'm feeling great. Let's acknowledge this here. However, I've been using my Kansa wand, which did you know is a 5,000 year old beauty tool? It predates Gua Sha and Jade Rolling. Isn't that fascinating? I've been really loving it. I mentioned this before, but I bought mine on Beauty Heroes. I paid for it with my own money. I love it. And I did this, I filmed this whole segment to try to show you guys how much graying I get every single time I do it. And I had no graying. And I think part of it was due to the fact that I had done nothing to my skin that day but work out and so my skin pH was probably very happy. Also I've been using it a lot on my sinuses as well as doing my neti pot. So my sinuses are feeling in a good place but I was like how ironic that I literally get graying over here, dark graying every single time except the time I try to show you. So I'm going to try to show you on Instagram the next time I do it. Moving on, let's get started. Let's get Let's get some concealing products on this face. Okay, let's start with the Mook Tea 2-in-1 Resurfacing Exfoliant. My skin definitely needs some hydration right now. I've been doing a lot of workouts. We've been going swimming in the ocean a lot. I've been applying a lot of sunscreen. And um, I have nothing on my face right now, but I do feel like it needs a cleanse. I want to do a Pacifica Hydrating Mask. Talk to you about my Pacifica haul. Um, but before we do that, before we really go in to applying any type of hydrating, um, intent hydrating products, I want to go ahead and put on some of this Mook Tea. Isn't that a gorgeous color? And I want to get some of the dead skin off. I've mentioned this before, this exfoliant feels a little bit rough on my skin. However, I love the smell, I love the ingredients, and I love that it has a soap component to it. So you can use it as a cleansing product, as opposed to some of them that come out that are just like a straight up exfoliant. Okay, I'm gonna go wash this off. You watch a little Maui beach scene, and I'll be right back. Now, I'm gonna double mask. And I'm gonna keep this portion short because I need to charge my camera battery. So when I come back, we'll be ready to chat. Here we have the Pacifica Eye Bright Gel Eye Gels with vitamin C and kelp biocellulose patches. We're heading into a global, potential global recession. It's time to be talking about affordable products. I'm also in this rut right now, exploring the idea of clean, green, mindful, what it all means phase. So far, these remind me of the Wander Eye Gels. Like they're not, they're called a Spot Serum Mask. They're supposed to be biocellulose, but they don't, ah, uh, there we are friends, too little things, two little fabric-y things, keeping them safe. I swear they probably spend more on the packaging of these things than they do on the actual product. I'm on this Pacifica kick because I've been exploring green, clean, mindful beauty. In fact, if you follow Green Beauty Theory, I just post a, posted a Sunday morning coffee talk talking about kind of my impressions about where all this is headed. And I think that 
you know, really my focus is going to be on this idea of transparency. I follow the big chemists. I follow the big bloggers and, you know, I get why they're angry at the idea of clean beauty. So I kind of go into this whole thing on my IGTV. Now, this is the Pacifica Stress Rehab Mask. This mask, I feel like, is one of the best masks in this price category. Now, I just feel like every time I use it, I have nice, bright skin, hydrated skin, firmer skin. Like, I just feel like it works great. Anyway, let me charge my camera battery. I'm going to sit down and read some things about soap and I will meet you back here and we'll talk extensively about Pacifica and all other things. Now where should we go from here? It's a very good question. It's already four o'clock here, so there's not really anywhere for me to go. So I'm feeling like maybe I'll throw on the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. Because I just really don't want to look like a troll for this entire video. And we've got a lot of products to talk about. Now, I haven't been using this. I made my comprehensive review, and then I kind of haven't used it as much simply because I've been going to the beach a lot with my kids. I mentioned this last week, the governor said you cannot exercise on the beach. The Maui mayor said you can. Well, he didn't say you can. He said, I will, I will not prosecute. The Maui police department will not prosecute anyone using the beach for exercise. So we've been using the beach for exercise. Where should we go from here? Let's do a little RMS because these under eyes are what they are. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the Lash Boosting Physician's Formula Organic Wear Mascara. I mentioned this before, but I believe when, I believed China relaxed the guidelines for selling products. Um, and so I believe that Physician's Formula is still cruelty-free. When I purchased these products in 2020, they were still labeling this product as cruelty-free. A little Fit Glow in Mini in the color Kid to round us out here. I love that it gives this like frosted glow, sort of 50s pearl pink really like that they sold. I wish they would just do an entire, their entire range in these minis. For those of us that don't want to commit to like a full size. Okay, let's go over my Pacifica haul. First up, what you should know is they do use phenooxyethanol and exylhethylglycerin as their preservative in almost all their products that I checked on. They also do use some type of synthetic fragrance. Now, synthetic fragrance doesn't worry me as much anymore because we're very aware of phthalates. And what phthalates do in fragrance is they're fixatives, meaning they can make the fragrance last longer. They say that their products are formulated without phthalates, so I'm just gonna go with that. You might not be comfortable with them. That's up to you. Okay, so let's go from the beginning of a routine to the end. The first thing I picked up was their Coconut Milk Cream to Foam Face Wash. Remove makeup, cleanse, and de-stress. Coconut and vanilla plus bubbles. I've tried it once so far. It's very creamy. It does lather nicely. It has some good ingredients. It almost feels like from the ingredients list that it's a liquid soap base that they've added other things to. So it's an intriguing product. I really can't speak to whether or not it removes makeup well. I can't speak to whether or not it feels that drying yet. I need to try it in a various amount of circumstances. 
Next, they have a micellar cleansing tonic, rinse-free cleanse plus remove stubborn makeup and tone skin. I don't usually enjoy these types of products that are like non-rinsable. However, I thought I would try it for eye makeup. Maybe it would work well for me. We'll see. Then I picked up their Coconut Essence Hydro Mist, Party Then and Rehab Now, plus coconut and caffeine. For whatever reason, any of these lower kind of affordable clean beauty brands that use phenooxyethanol in a toner seem to always taste awful when I spray them on my face. I don't know how I get it in my mouth, but I seem to do it every time. And the other brands like the Honua Le Hao Refreshing Face Mist, I don't have that similar like gross taste in my mouth with. Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator, same thing. I don't have this like weird taste in my mouth. So I've been just spraying this on my hand and applying to my face and it does feel nice that way. All three of these products have a very sort of tropical-y, artificial-y coconut smell to them. It kind of does smell nice though, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, next up I picked up four of their serums. The Water Bounce Booster Serum that has pea peptides in it, and you know why I picked this up? is because it's a very simple serum, right? But it's hydrating, it has pea, pea peptides. Um, and what is another product out there that has pea peptides? African Botanics, like crazy expensive product. So I thought, let's try this and see how well it works. Maybe we can, we can do a comparison to this in the African Botanics crazy expensive product. Then we have the Glow Baby Booster Serum, which is glycolic acid and vitamin C. I believe the vitamin C is sodium ascorbyl phosphate. So a vitamin C derivative. I wouldn't expect crazy brightening or transformative skin from a vitamin C derivative. However, it does have glycolic acid and glycerin as well as cockadoo cock plum. So we're getting some vitamin C. We'll see. The star ingredient probably is glycolic acid. I've mentioned before how much I fell in love with this Blue Alchemy Botanic Retinol Serum. So I decided to pick up... One of the things I've wondered is, was this product working really well for me because it had that niacinamide in it, as well as ceramides? Was that really the reason why I was feeling like this product worked so well for me? This product is $140. Like, it's gonna be expensive if I want to try to replace it. So I thought I'll pick up Pacifica's Dream Shot Booster Serum with Ceramide and Rose, plus their C and C Love Vitamin Serum, which has vitamin C and marine extracts. And we'll just like do a little comparison. I believe the vitamin C in here is, it's a different version. Um, I forget, it's some sort of more complicated vitamin C derivative or it's, you know, formulated within something to be fancier. So we'll see how these work out for me. We're just doing a haul right now and I'm going to talk about texture and all of those things coming up here. Then I decided to pick up this Cosmic Shield Hydration Lock Face Cream. I looked at a bunch of their face creams and a lot of them seemed to be really formulated to being oil light, water creams, um, you know, really for more oily prone skin and I would almost say like maybe a younger demographic. So then I looked over the ingredients of this one and it seemed lovely. So I went ahead and picked this up. I've got to tell you, after uh, sampling everything, first impressions, I'm really loving this product. Then I picked up their Mineral Face Shade Coconut Probiotic Sunscreen. I wanted something as we move into summer to kind of offset using this all the time because this is $55 a tube, this is $13.99, and this is supposed to be um, water resistant for 80 minutes. So if we're going down to the beach for just an hour in the morning, I kind of wanted something to put on that I knew was going to give me like legitimate sunblock in the water. 
So my first impressions of this is it leaves a humongous white cast. I'm gonna be trying it because like I said, the purpose of me getting it was to provide a sunblock for wearing in the ocean. So we'll see, all right? I'm gonna report back, of course, to you on all of these things. Then <clears throat> I had to pick up a bunch of sheet masks. I know, you are welcome to judge me for my sheet mask use. They are not the most eco-friendly, but I don't use them as much. It might seem like I use them a lot, but I wouldn't say I use them more than once a week. Okay, the stress rehab mask, I picked up a bunch of these because I love them. Then, because the packaging and the marketing of this was so adorable, I had to pick this one up, which is the Cosmic Beauty Dose Balancing Facial Mask. Then I picked up their two after sun masks because I thought it might be fun to do like some sort of beach montage and then do these, which is the after sun cool and glow facial sheet mask. And then they have one for the decolletage area. Then these masks all kind of fall into the same category. The Energized Glow Turmeric Spice Facial Mask, the Disobey Time Rose and Peptide Facial Mask, the Blue Algae Urban Defense Facial Mask. I want to say I've tried all three of these before and I wasn't that impressed. Like nothing has ever delivered for me the same type of results that I get from this particular mask, but we'll see. Okay. So that was my haul. That was my get ready with me. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're, you're surviving. I hope we're all gonna survive. Anyway, go check out Green Beauty Theory because like I mentioned, I'm gonna be doing Sunday morning coffee talks over there where I'm gonna be talking just about um, issues, things, I don't know. I'm gonna have special guests. That'll be fun, right? And um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in, bye.